a tune curator system should look uh, in the offenses tab something like this you know a couple of offenses a day uh, that you need to take action on for example this one somebody has been hit by ransomware well what do we do with it uh, in this one somebody is talking to a command and control so this machine might be compromised uh, somebody here detected uh, user inserting USB key and going to a restricted site well somebody is really going into a, a site that is not uh, allowed and, and put information out somebody's doing FTP so you get the point so you, you get things that you need to take an action upon and it, when you have something like this one for example TCP heat pre preceded by actual action left alone let me actually click on this particular offense and well I get you know the the story here is, is telling me it started with an email message some proxies on some stuff well and I got 24 events and I can start looking at the events and doing you know getting the hashes of the event going to virus total going into blocks and, and it probably will take me easily two three hours to to check on this one unless I had Watson and I click here on the Watson icon and I can actually see graphically you know not only what happened on on this particular incident but also another pieces of information that the, everything that is uh, with this light blue that Watson did not know about and this is uh, the power the power of cognitive is really in minutes uh, telling me what's going on out there and things that I don't most likely unless I have one heck of an experience SOC operator won't be able to actually figure out However, if instead of uh, 10, 15 offenses a day, I get 100, 150, then these important events that require some attention are going to be drowned into a bunch of uh, other stuff that might be a lot of uh, false positive. Why does that happen? Well, curator, contrary to what most SIM systems are out there in which you need to specify a bunch of rules and begin to do a lot of work and telling about the system this and this and that. Curator has a couple of clever things starting with a set of rules more than you know 750 uh, rules uh, that have a lot of logic already pre-built out of the box rules that will tell you a lot of things and will fire automatically on many uh, on many events also curator has the capability of discovering assets if you provide flow information uh, it can detect you know it can discover database servers DHCP servers FTP servers etc automatically for you so you don't have to tell it what's out there it can actually figure that out if you do have flows if you don't then you're gonna have to go and define this what is called building blocks and start to specify into the tool which are my machines that are DNS servers, FTP servers and all that and if you don't do that Rules that are based on, okay, this is an LDAP, this is an FTP server, this is a database server, so it may fall, may, may, may fire, uh, because it doesn't have all the information to know which system is which. In here we see these uh, local to remote, uh, local to local, this is with L2L to L and all L2R, all that, and that has to do with the flow of the of the of the traffic so for example if I have a rule that fires when a lot of data leaves the organization well it needs to know that it's from local to remote and if I don't have the network topology that's something that Curator cannot figure out you need to tell it where is my DMC where are my you know what where is the what are the exit doors so so it knows when 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 uh, this traffic uh, uh, is going otherwise you may get a tremendous amount of false positive uh, because of the network hierarchy and it's not hard to, in the admin calls on to go ahead and define what your network hierarchy is and you specify what are my proxy servers you know my VPN servers etc the DMC etc so it's very easy but you need to do that curator cannot figure that out on itself also you need to tell curator for example in terms of compliance with are the rules that I'm looking at here 
where are your crown jewels? Where are all my PCI servers? My the you know whatever regulation is that you're you're getting the the package. And Curator gives you a lot of rules that you can actually get from the from the app exchange and, and and get the rules already built. But you need to tell it you know what are the addresses of my specific server because it cannot determine that uh, on its own. So for example, on this particular rule, large outbound trans transfer, high rate of uh, transfer, uh, you see that I need to specify, you know, which are my, which are my, my uh, particular uh, servers and, and, and in other things, you, you see again the local to remote and you see this uh, parameter here and when the source buy is greater than what, what is that, 200,000, is that too big, is that too small? Well, it could be that for your environment it's too small and it's normal that this amount of traffic actually goes out. So you need to go and tune that number and make it something that is, uh, uh, you know, uh, works well in your environment. Otherwise, you'll get false positives for not doing that. And tuning curator is not really hard if you start from the right place. If you start from here, let's say that you are overwhelmed with 100 you know, 150 offenses in here and you start clicking on every one of them and try to analyze each and every one and see their rules, you know, why is this uh, this one fighting, uh, fighting, uh, it's, it's going to be overwhelming. That's not the way to go. Let me show you a better way. So you go to the log activity tab and basically make a simple rule that says the log source is a custom rule engine, which basically are rules that are firing and then you group that by event name and you specify the time frame that you want to see them one day, two days, whatever it is and you get something like this which is really sorted by by which rules are the ones that are the the, the noises one because they're the ones that are firing the most you get them sorted here and then you start from the ones that is the most uh, the, the noises one and say you know this one in particular and you you do the analysis for this one and when you tune this one out or you may disable it if it's not applicable or you may modify the logic of the rule basically you have dealt with 332 of them in one shot and then you proceed again and there's a there's a very nice uh, uh, best practices uh, uh, methodology that we can help you uh, you know it uh, goes into more detail on how you actually tune your curator system so it ends up looking like this with a few manageable offenses and things that you actually need to take action upon.